I think that's it. Back here on Eagles Post Game Live with our Hyundai Drive of the Game. And we're looking right after the half. Eagles got the ball, and they have a 13-play, 75-yard drive. Ends with that tush push. Two of them. One of them obviously resulting in the touchdown. And almost six minutes. Of, we talked about the time of possession, Ruth. I mean, they really dominated this in every aspect. But so that was a pretty good drive. And that really set the tone and made it 20-3. to three. Yeah, and I've got to say that nine-minute, 22-second scoreless drive that ran out the clock yeah. at the end of the game, that would have been my choice, but I'm not the producer of the show. Oh, wow. No, man, shots taking shots now. That, that was a thing. Foul. To be able to, to get the ball in your own 25 yeah. with 922 left and the Bucks never got the football again. Never touched it. That was tremendous. 15 plays. They converted. Uh, they were four for four and third down on that drive, and they had five total first downs. Okay, so our new drive of the game presented by Hyundai is <laughs> Thank you. 20 drive. A Rube drive of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Rube drive of the game. There'll be a segment next week. And, yeah. we, you, we, and you can't downplay how much how how much they need to do things like that because you know it's, it's not just you staying on the field as the offense, but it's more so you're keeping their quarterback mm-hmm. off the field. You know they can't go out there and score with their quarterback if they if he's not available, and that's the biggest thing. Last week when with Kirk Cousins, this week with Baker Mayfield, mm-hmm. if you can keep their offense off the field. You know, it's a chance for success. I mean, it just, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for your, 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 your stats to come up, you know. But, I mean, that time of possession is just, it's oh, just huge. huge to me. On a hot day? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, come out the locker down. room. The locker room at halftime, you know, Todd Bowles probably gave those Buccaneers a big speech. We're mm-hmm. down. We played like crap the first half. The first drive is to start this second half. And we're going to go out there and put a stop to them. That's mm-hmm. it. So you're getting their best shot coming mm-hmm. out at halftime. 75 yards game yep. over. 13 plays. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, so that is the better drive. Jaw says it, yeah, so we got one we, we'll for one. We disagree on that. <laughs> Tune in next week, see what we decide for those things. Uh, let's check in with DeAndre Swift after his really big night. All right, we are joined by DeAndre Swift. And DeAndre, what is it like to have another performance like this, but Monday Night Football, you grew up watching it, the country's watching. It was, it was a great opportunity. I knew that coming into it. Um, I feel like we just did a great job executing and came out, came out with the win. Nick Sirianni described you as being elusive, explosive, and tough. Which one are you most proud of? All three of them. Um, I, I pride myself on being balanced, being able to do, be, do everything I'm asked to do. Now, this offensive line, they create some big holes, but a couple of guys in there were telling me they really like how sometimes an unblocked defender, you make him miss. Yards after the contact. What's your mentality about that? My mentality is I want to square every time I touch the ball, but I don't think one guy should ever tackle me. Two guys, I, that's my mentality. I feel like the guys up front, I got the ball in my hand. There ain't no telling what's going to happen. So you didn't get many touches the first week, and we've seen what you've done these last two weeks, second leading rusher in the league. How did you keep your mentality and, and your mental side from not getting too emotional about not getting those carries? Just preparing the right way. I knew my opportunity was going to come, so whenever it did come, make the most of it, like prepare the right way throughout the week. Um, that's all I could do. When you watched the Eagles offensive line on film or, you know, on TV, what is even more impressive to you blocking and, and them being in front of you? Like uh, just them, the, the toughness, um, the consistency, play after play, um, some dogs up front. So the last Eagles running back to come here and have 200-yard rushing games in his first three games was a guy named Charlie Garner way back in 1994. How special is that, doing this in your hometown? It's a, it's a, it's a blessing. I'll continue to say that. Um, the, like I said, just being ready for the opportunities when they present themselves, and it's a blessing. Jalen Hurts keeps talking about this team is still trying to find its identity. Is running the ball, grittiness running the ball, is that the identity of this team maybe? I feel like whatever we need to do, whatever the, the game dictates us to do, we could do. So I feel like we could pass for however many yards, we could run for however many yards. It depends week to week. Final question for you. Your dad, I'm sure he texts you. I'm sure you talk to him after games. Does he find little things to critique you on? I mean, well, definitely. I still ask him. I ask any coach that ever coached me if they text me, you see anything I could have done differently, what you think. I don't, I don't want to hear too much good. Um, I like to see what I can work on. And by the way, I, I can't, I'm remiss if I don't ask you about Alameda Zacchaeus. Yeah. First two catches, I yeah. think like 25 and 34 yards, something like that. How special was that for him to shine on Monday night? It's amazing. It's amazing. Especially a guy I came up in high school with, a guy I looked up to in high school to share the same field with him, see him score that one, just make sure I was the first one over there to congratulate him. I'm proud of him. Nice. Well, congrats on another great game. Thank I appreciate Thanks it. a lot. Thank Thanks a lot, DeAndre. 
DeAndre Swift or John Clark, and you saw his face light up because yeah. Alameda Zacchaeus, obviously also from St. Joe's Prep, and I thought that was a really cool moment. But DeAndre Swift making a little history. 305 yards the last two games, the most in a two-game span by an Eagle since that Bryce Brown had 347 in Kansas 2012. State. Kansas oh. K-State. Bryce Brown, that's a trivia question. I don't know if you want to claim him, Barrett. <laughs> that's that, a trivia question games, right yes. there. <laughs>